I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Eli Whitney, his cotton gin. So I'm going to write that at the top so I don't forget what I'm doing. Whitney Cotton Gin. And the gin was supposed to stand for engine. Okay, right here in the center I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot going to the left I draw a straight line out. Come back to the dot. Straight line out on the right. Come back to the left. Straight line down. Straight line over. Straight line up. Leave it floating. On the right hand side. Straight line down. Straight line over. Straight line up. And leave that floating. Come back to the left. We're just going to draw a straight line across. Connect. Right here in the center, put another dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a baby circle. Put another dot up on top, we're going to draw another circle. We're going to go straight line, 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 straight line. Now, we're going to draw another circle around it. Mimic that first one. Come back over here on the right, draw a straight line, connect on the right, jump over, straight line, connect on the left. Now come up to the top and we're just going to draw a straight line, jump over, little straight line over, up, jump over, connect, and on the right we're going to do the same thing. Straight line down, Jump over, little straight line, straight line up, jump over, straight line, connect. Okay, now we're going to draw a series of boxes and cranes and things like that up here because this is a mechanical drawing. So starting over here on the left, I'm going to just draw one, two, three straight lines, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal out, straight line, connect, straight line down. <clears throat> excuse me. Now, right next, <clears throat> excuse me again, right next to it, straight line, curve line, straight line down, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal out, little curve line, connect, straight line down. Right next to that, we're going to draw curve line, straight diagonal out, curve line, straight diagonal in, curve line, connect. One more time, curve line, straight diagonal out, curve line, straight diagonal in, straight diagonal, connect. Right here where we stop, we're just going to draw a straight diagonal out, straight line in, connect. Right next to it, we're going to do it again, straight diagonal out, but we're going to leave it floating. Okay. Right about here, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line, up, in, connect, and inside that we're going to write King Cotton, because cotton was king in the south when this was invented. Right here, we're just going to put curve lines, curve lines, curve lines. All right. Now, this is important because this is how the machine, his cotton gin, worked. You've got to put a curve line with a triangle going down and a curve line with a triangle going up because this wheel was the turning wheel. Then you would have to put curve line, triangle, and this is where they would put the cotton. Then you would come back up, curve line, triangle, and put it through this. And right here, let's put a little baby circle. Straight line, straight line, straight line. Because this, with these little dots inside, would begin separating the cotton from uh, the sticky seeds that were 
perplexing everybody. Now you come back to this curved line, triangle, and this is another roller. So I had to go through a series of rollers uh, disengaging the cotton seed from the stems and all the stickiness. Now you're going to put this curved line, it has to go through another roller, then this roller curve line brings it down to the chute and this is the finished cotton separated from all the seeds because that's what the problem was now I'm going to put a slightly wavy line and a slightly wavy line on the right so that you can see it standing on something we'll talk about this as we color okay let's see how we're going to color this in okay the first thing I'm going to do is color all of my baby triangles because they show you the motion of how cotton the cotton was put through the gin okay now this was important for a couple of reasons number one because they needed more people to pick the cotton this was kind of bad for the enslaved people that were brought over because they put them right to work because it was a cash crop the second thing is, this was also the first time something, a machine was patented. So take your brown and just color lightly all of these rollers and boxes and everything else. So cotton was very, very profitable for the planters as long as, one, they didn't have to pay anybody, so that's why enslaved people were brought in. And two, because cotton was king. Get a lot of money, and this was the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. So one of these cotton gins could take the place of 50 men working. So you can see why everybody wanted them. Now you come over to the other roller. So one kind of cotton they were growing, they didn't have a problem with. But the kind of cotton that they wanted to make money off of, had all these sticky seeds and stickers and they were horrible to work with so Eli Whitney developed this system so it's all mechanical everything goes and you finally end up with your uh, bag of King Cotton okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay this is Eli Whitney's cotton gin a major major technological achievement back for the 1790s and um, another example of technology changing the way that people live their lives and history. Okay, bye-bye.